So a couple of videos ago, I talked about uh, using this new Bronica SQ, just uh, my, my latest favorite film camera. It's a medium format uh, film camera, six by six, so it's square, unlike a lot of the other Bronicas that are uh, six by four or five. So I wanted to give this a try. I saw it down at Precision and I said, yeah, I, the price is right. I'm going to go ahead and take this home and uh, run a few rolls through it and see uh, how much I really like it. So go ahead and look at that previous video. I get into all the details about my experiences with my first two rolls of film that I shot through this camera. Now, there's a mystery. There's a mystery uh, concerning some weird uh, light leaks or what I thought were light leaks uh, on the uh, test rolls of film that I shot. The mystery has actually been solved and we're going to get to that in a second. But uh, let me tell you, uh, people looking at that video uh, and myself included, we, we're kind of brainstorming and we're kind of trying to figure out what is the weird, uh, what is that the stuff that looks like light leaks on the first roll of film that I shot, the shots featuring my daughter in them. Uh, what is the deal with that? It just looked like just, just intense light leaks, right? I mean, they were so bad that some people were suggesting that I probably mishandled the film or that it didn't roll up uh, tightly enough on the spool so light was leaking in on the film after uh, the shots were actually taken or maybe even before uh, but I, I was pretty sure I was careful with the film because you know I mean I've been doing this for like uh, close to 40 years and I think I know how to uh, handle rolls of film so I didn't think that was the problem but I, I wasn't really sure what was going on now the first roll of film that I ran through this camera was Portra 400 all right that's 400 speed film uh, light leaks were pretty uh, intense uh, and I figured, well, you know, light leaks are light leaks. No matter what you shoot through that camera, you're going to see these same light leaks. Uh, the next uh, roll of film that I shot through the camera was Portra 160. Now, what is that, like a stop and a half less sensitivity to light? Well, I, I ran a roll of film through that, and uh, some of the frames didn't even appear to have any light leaks. But on closer inspection of the film of the negatives, uh, I noticed, yes, in fact, it did look like there were some leaks coming through that. Well, let's see. Here and here and here. Pretty consistent with the with the little light leaks. Now the first roll is this one. Definitely some major light leaks there. And finally on a roll of uh, Tri-X and that's also 400. I, I processed this myself just to make sure I had full control over the entire process of handling the film and processing the film and definitely major light leaks. So one of the things I did was I took the negatives from the two 400 speed films and I lined up the light leaks and sure enough very consistent across the strip of film and uh, well, I knew I had a problem with that. Uh, so I took the camera back down to precision. Uh, they said they'd go ahead and have a look at it and they determined that yes, the, there were in fact light leaks. So it wasn't uh, all the other, you know, all the other things that people were speculating that, hey Ed, you just don't know how to handle film or uh, you, you, something else that you did wrong. Turns out it was the camera back and that's the, this part of the camera where the film sets. The one that came with the camera was just, uh, it's just defective. It's just broken. It's letting in too much light. And uh, that's just, they said that even replacing the light seals wasn't gonna help. So they replaced it with another one, problem solved. And I wanna thank Precision here in Austin, Texas for taking care of me. Uh, they let me keep the broken one. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll use it for special effects if I just really wanna torture myself with light leaks or something like that. As soon as I got the camera back, I immediately shot a test roll of uh, HP5 Plus. And uh, man, clean, clean negatives. I'm very happy. So good, I don't need to shoot any more test rolls with this beautiful camera. I know that I can count on it and, uh, and I'm gonna get started shooting some proper portraits right away. Now, while we're on the subject of people making things right when you purchase something from them, uh, B&H Photo. Uh, you know, I purchase a lot of stuff from B&H and usually stuff gets shipped to me on time. I get everything I want. Everything, you know, the, the order, the whole ordering process t tends to be uh, uh, 
pretty painless, okay? And I'm usually really satisfied. But once in a while, something arrives broken. It might be a lighting fixture or, uh, you know, something that's a little more fragile. But sometimes things just aren't packaged well enough to withstand the abuse that some of these shipping companies uh, will put the packages through. I ordered some darkroom stuff, and uh, that included uh, some plastic beakers and things like that, you know, stuff to mix uh, your chemicals with and uh, one thing arrived broken but hey I got in touch with them uh, they immediately sent out a new one and look check it out here it is so so happy so uh, moral of the story is uh, you know when you purchase something uh, make sure that you uh, you know you get what you're paying for uh, don't settle uh, I could have just said, yeah, I'm probably doing something wrong with this, uh, this whole uh, Bronica camera thing. Uh, but no, you know, I, I uh, persisted, did those tests, figured out what was going on. And, uh, you know, usually these companies, you, you know, that you buy stuff from, they're going to want to make things right. They're not going to want to be embarrassed in public if you're complaining about stuff. Uh, so they're going to make things right. They want to keep their customers happy. So, you know, uh, if you're not getting what you want, if you're not getting what you paid for, uh, just insist, okay? Anyway, so just a little update on my whole Bronica adventure, all right? So uh, if you haven't seen that previous video that I was talking about, uh, I'll go ahead and provide a link to it. Just go ahead and check that out. Uh, you might, it might interest you if you're into film photography at all, or if you've been thinking about getting into film photography, especially medium format. Uh, so yeah, we solved the problem. I'm very happy. Lots more pictures to come. See you next time.